Okay, guys. Um, so I didn't realise that uh, I'd actually had my microphone off while recording this. So here I am talking about um, a customer's dropped an uh, iPhone 6 Plus. Um, it has a problem with restoring. It gets to negative 56 on on 3U tools. Um, so it won't go past that. It's saying, you know, that it's uh, it's an NFC chip, and I'm going to replace the NFC chip and show you how to do it, and uh, hopefully fix your own phone if that's what you want to do. Um, so I'm just about to show you. Oh, I'm just about to show you on uh, three tools uh, that it gets to the negative 56 error and then I start pulling apart the screen so the phone so uh, just bear with me and it uh, it will have audio soon thanks guys So here's where it, uh, it's going to bomb out any second now. A updating Stockholm. And there we go. There's our error. Minus 56. And it goes to a black screen again. So that's it there. All right. So I realized just then that my, um, my microphone wasn't on. So that was great. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. I'll probably have to put some audio in there for you. Um, so I'm going to tear this down now and we're going to, it's nearly all the way down and then we're going to replace that part and see what happens. Oh, this is my first, uh, first NFC replacement. I don't think I've had a problem. I don't think I've had this, this repair in before. So it's new to me as to probably many of you maybe it's a, a thing we'll start seeing or maybe it was just time for that chip to give up so let's have a look so I'll get my board holder I have to peel up that sticker because the NFC is under that sticker I'm pretty sure I've worked on this before, this board before doing a touch IC. So let's have a look. Let's go up a bit. I think I think this one has been worked on. So this is the little little chip we want to remove here. So NXP 65V10. So let's uh, put that in our board holder. Remove that IC. Put a new IC on. And uh, and get this phone working again. And then we will have a happy customer. And we all want happy customers. Okay. Why aren't you lining up? There we go. Why does that go off to the side there like that? Okay. So a little bit of flux. Not a lot of flux, just a little bit of flux. And we're just going to pop it 
on the end of our on the tweezers like that. Now are these my good tweezers, and we're just going to pop it down the side here. And give ourselves some air. About three. Oh, I work with. I work with. Uh, let's get a little bit down here. It, when it's set, it decide to sit on the chip. So let's. There we go. I work with about three, 340, between 340 and 370. Now you got to watch these little caps down here. So there's little caps along there. So we're after a nice clean lift. And that's it. Perfecto. For some reason the chip always ends up going flying. So there's our IC. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, there's our pads. And they look alright too. So I'm just going to grab another IC off another, off another uh, board here. A working donor board. If I see a few more of these repairs come in, I might actually uh, buy some of these ICs. But you know, for the random one or two that you get, you might not. Uh, it might not be worth buying. I guess they are only a few dollars. But it's the uh, it's the repairing part, which you know costs the money, because having all this um, expensive gear, not everyone can afford it, and not everyone's going to be doing it as well. And not only that, if you're only going to fix your phone once, what's the point of buying all the gear, right? So let's remove this this IC. Same, same goes with this one. We're looking for a clean lift. Clean lift. The reason I like clean lifts is because I am going to put that, what just fell down there, I'm going to put that straight on, straight on the other board. Happy days. Don't even need to re-ball it. So we're going to stick a little bit of flux down. like so. I'm going to get you so you can see it because that's the reason why I'm doing this. So you guys can see it. All right. uh, before I put that down, what's that? That's just a bit of light, is it? It's just the light reflecting. All right, so we're going to put this chip down like this. Now we're just gonna, cause stupid Apple don't, uh, cause Apple don't uh, put markings on where their where their ICs go. We're just gonna take a guess. So what I normally do is I normally, if you see the top two balls, sorry, the top the top ball and the bottom ball, I I measure the distance like that with the IC, and then I just come straight across from there. So that's how I do it. Um, everyone does it differently, but that's how I do it. And it seems to seems to work fine. So kind of like once this drops, gets stuck sometimes. So about there. Oh, 
Now just give it a quick, uh, a quick heat, like that. Pull away. And it'll find its way as it did. Like that. And give it a bit of a nudge. There's our IC. Didn't put the fume extractor on. No surprises there. So here's our our supposed broken IC. So we'll give that a clean up now. Now that should be cool. Try not to do that straight away because usually the solder is still, uh, still at molten stage. We give that a nice clean up. And look at that, beautiful. Okay, so we're going to whack the sticker back on if we can. Well, it's still hot. And what I normally do is I normally just put it down like that and then put a heavy weight on it. Can you see? No, you can't see. So I normally just use a bit of solder or something. Just put it on there for a, put it on there for about um, oh, you know, a few seconds, whatever it takes. Clean up my mess. Get my my frame. All right, so. Back on there. We're gonna hook this up. Hook this up. As if nothing had happened. Okay. I've just got a customer, so I'll be back in a second. I don't know how many of you guys use your microscope to uh, Plug in these connectors. I'm just got so lazy now. It's just so much easier doing it like that. Okay, so here we go. We'll plug our phone in, and we'll see what happens. Okay, back again, guys. Uh, so the phone has been um, restored, and it went through, and full flash went through, and now it's ready to use. So uh, that's concludes the NFC NFC uh, chip repair um, if you like the video please like it if you don't like it leave a comment why uh, subscribe and I hope this helps you guys and I'll see you on the next video thanks very much